Hello guys, welcome to Epson's Pro. Welcome to another tutorial video and most demanding video, uh, I would say, because uh, I've been receiving a lot of comments like since last two, three months that create a tutorial for how to add wishlist in Dawn theme without app. I mean, I have been getting a lot of comments related to this tutorial. And finally, we were able to uh, build this tutorial for you, create this tutorial for you. It took a little extra time because we were busy with some of the customization requests which we have been receiving from our YouTube visitors. So we also do customization. If you need any feature added to your theme or your paid theme, or you have any problem uh, related to connecting it with Facebook, doing SEO for your store and doing uh, WordPress development, we do that as well. You can find the link in the description where you can contact us and request for uh, the changes or features which you need on your store or your WordPress website. So this tutorial is for wishlist and uh, you can do that without app and this tutorial is for free there is no tutorial available yet for this feature to add in your store for free there are some paid tutorials available but none of them is offering this feature for free and this is just for you guys thank you for the love which you are giving we will be reaching 10k really soon and uh, uh, the next milestone of our channel will be to reach 100k as soon as possible okay so uh, as you can see on my screen i have this wishlist floating icon showing up and this product added in wishlist so when i click on that it will remove it from the wishlist and when i click back it will add it to the wishlist and once it's added in the wishlist it will show in the wishlist page we can add it in the menu as well there's a floating icon and uh, you can also change the floating icon position from the customized settings so let me show you that right now so if i go to the back end of the store and go to customize settings we have this wishlist option showing up where we can simply disable and enable our wishlist feature and we can also disable and enable our floating button and uh, we can change the position of our floating button from middle left middle right so it's showing up on our middle left bottom center so we can change the position of this floating icon and uh, once someone click on this it will take you to the wishlist page where we will see our product which we added in wishlist now let's add in some other products let's add in this one not in wishlist click on it and this product will be in wishlist cool right and uh, this floating bar icon will also look good on in the mobile version so if I go to my mobile version of the website, you can see how this wish list floating button is showing up. And let's try adding another product to wish list using our mobile version. So that's how it shows up. Tap on it and go to wish list page. And you have now three pages showing up in the wish list. Cool, right so if you want to learn how to do this stick to the video don't forget to watch the complete video because there are six steps which we'll be following in order to implement that and i'll share every single step in detail okay now let's go to my uh different development store where i'll add this so that's the development store where we will be adding this feature i'm going to close the old tab and that's the development store where we will be adding our wishlist feature. And you guys might have noticed that this uh, development store has a transparent header and some other cool features. And there is a video which is an autoplay mod. So I have created uh, multiple tutorials and uh, one of the most prominent tutorial which I created ever is transparent header. It's a pretty basic feature and it looks good if you add it on your store. So check the link in the description where I have each all of you guys on how you can add transparent header video on autoplay because this feature is also not available and you can also learn how to show percentage discount on uh, the sale badge so by default it shows sale 
when you install a fresh Dawn theme, which is 13.0.1 as of today, uh, it doesn't offer the percentage discount in the sale badge where it shows. The tutorial will show you how you can add the percentage discount. Okay, now let's move on to our tutorial. So let's first install the fresh Dawn theme. And uh, so I have already added multiple uh, codes in this. So we'll be using a fresh Dawn theme in this case. And uh, this tutorial is for free themes only. So it might not work if you are using a paid theme, but if you're using any free theme, for example, Dawn, color block, sense, fresh theme, it's gonna work completely fine. Okay, now let's stall the fresh Dawn theme. Click on add button here. And our theme is stalling. While this theme is stalling guys, Shopify's default pricing is about $30 a month. They keep increasing pricing, but good news is that we have a discount for you. So if you sign up using a link in the description, you will get your store up and running for just $1 per month for starting three months. So don't delay and sign up using the link in the description. Okay, our fresh dawn theme has been installed and I'm going to publish this one. Click on publish again. Okay guys, now we will go to our code editor. Click on these three small dots and then click on edit code. Guys, before editing the code, make sure to have a backup of your theme. In case you mess up anything, don't blame me because I want you guys to have a backup. Now let's edit the code. And that's the tutorial which we will be following. All of the codes are present in this link. I'll add this link in the YouTube video description. So first step is that we will create a template and we will name this template wishlist and add the following code. Okay. Now to create a new template, there is add a new template button here. Click on that and now select page and let's name it wishlist. Okay. And from the radio button, select liquid and then click on done. Okay. Now we have our template created. Now we will add the code, which we have it here. So just click on copy code button and paste it here and click on save. Now we will go to pages and create a new page. Let's close this tab as we don't need that. Now we will create a new page and assign this template, which we created, right? Okay. Now let's click on online store and then click on pages. And from there, click on add page. And I'm going to name this page wishlist. And here we can choose the template So choose wishlist as a template and then click on save. Perfect. Now let's go back to code editor and move to our step two. So in our step two, we will create a new snippet and this snippet will be wishlist. Make sure to not to do any spelling mistake and copy the code and everything from this instruction tutorial. Okay. Now scroll down from here in our code editor and go to snippets, open that snippet folder and then click on add a new snippet. Name this snippet wishlist and click on done. So when we created our template, it was showing us an error that you don't have a snippet. It was uh, a red color line, which it was showing before we created the snippet. Now it's fixed. And now we will add code in our snippet file. So that's the code of the snippet file. So just click on copy code button and paste it here. After pasting this code, it's safe. And let's go back to our next step. So our next step is that we will add a button through which you can add the product to the wish list and remove it, right? So that's the code for the button, which we will add through custom liquid block in our product page template. How we can do that? So click on these three small dots and then click on customize theme. I'm going to open that in a new tab. Okay, and that's a theme customizer. From the drop down here, go to products, then click on default product. Okay, here we will add a wishlist button. 
I would like to position at below price or yeah, below pricing is fine. So let's scroll down here, click on add block and click on custom liquid. And in custom liquid, we will add the code which is here in our step three. So click on copy code button and then paste it here. And after pasting the code, hit save. Okay, let's move on to the next step, which is step four. Now we will add the schema code and we will add the schema code in settings underscore schema dot JSON file. And for that, let's go back to our code editor. Search for settings underscore schema. And here below this theme info, we will add a line break. And we will copy this code from here. Click on copy code button and paste the code. And then click save. Perfect. Let's move on to the next step. Now, in our step five, we will add the following code in theme.liquid file below body tag. Okay, let's open up the theme.liquid file. So that's our theme.liquid file. And in this file, we will search for body. So press command F to search in code editor. If you have windows, press control F and then click on next. And here is our body. We will add a line break here. And then we will copy the code from our step five. Click on copy code and then paste it here. After pasting the code, hit save. And move on to the next step, which is our final step. So we'll add some more code in our theme.liquid file. And we will add the following code above end style. So let's search for this code in our theme.liquid file and add this code above that. Okay, so it's on line number 252. You might have it on some different line. If you have any customization, if you don't have any customization in Dawn 13.0.1, you should have the same line number. Okay, now we will copy this code from here and then paste it here. Perfect, hit save. And we have completed all of the settings and we have added all of the codes. Now we will test our wishlist feature. Okay. Now let's click on preview store. And our wishlist floating icon is not showing up. The reason why is that we have to enable that in our customized settings. Okay, let's go to customize. Then hit refresh because we added the fresh schema. Click on settings gear icon here, which will open up theme settings. And here we have wishlist, right? Open that up and you can enable your wishlist feature and enable floating button. Before doing do make sure to subscribe our channel by clicking on this link, which will help us create more valuable content for you guys. And we will be also adding more feature to this tutorial where uh, we think there are some of the feature which are missing and we'll be releasing that real soon. So make sure to subscribe our channel. Okay, we will enable our wishlist and enable our floating button. Perfect. Now click on save. Now let's go back to our theme and hit refresh. Okay, our wishlist icon is showing up, wishlist floating icon. And now click on it. And here's our wishlist page. Currently it's empty because we haven't added any product to our wishlist. Okay, now click on all products to see what products do we have. And now click on any of the product. And here we have this wishlist icon showing up on the bottom. Now we need it to show up below the pricing or below title. So what we can do here is go to customize and uh, in our product page template, we can simply drag and drop the custom liquid, which we added to below the title. And here's our wish list button. Click on save. And then let's go back and hit refresh. And here we go. You can see our wish list button is showing up on our product page. So when we click on that, it shows that 
it's in your wish list okay now let's go to our wish list page and you can see this product is showing up in our wish list and if we try to add some more products should be working fine perfect we have two products showing up uh, by the way guys there is a lot of room for improvement i agree on that let me know in the comments below what more features you would like to add us and we will do it for you and create another video on how how you can implement that on this tutorial and uh, that's how easy you can add the wishlist feature by the way this is built on local storage using javascript so once you close the window and once you reopen it or you uh, open a new session the products will be removed from wishlist but it won't go anywhere if you refresh the page cool so that's it for the video guys i hope you guys will love it and would definitely implement that on your uh, dawn theme and uh, until next video have a great day